First, you will need to install the software WordPress, which is free. For that, I use uh, Bluehost. After logging into my Bluehost uh, internet hosting company, I can then go to Simple Scripts. And Simple Scripts will allow me to install WordPress. So I can go down here, scroll down to my WordPress right here, click on it, and then go ahead and say install. And this is all done for me. The website that we're going to be developing is called nationwidebankruptcytraining.com. So I have selected where I want the WordPress installed. I have also checked the box and I hit complete. After installation, I then have a site URL, a login URL, a username, and a password. The password can be changed if you like, or uh, but the admin will stay the same. This information will be emailed to you if you have your Bluehost account or a cPanel or another host who will allow this to be automatically installed. So right now I'm going to highlight the password and copy it and then I'm going to go to this login screen. And the login screen will come up, they all look the same, and I paste in my password, I log in and ask the computer to remember it. Now we are almost ready for a website. Now the first thing I'm going to do is change my password because of course everybody watching this video knows what it is. So excuse me a moment. Now let's look at what we have so far. We've just installed the software. Uh, and we've changed our password. We've done nothing else. And if we look there, that's what we have if we go to nationwidebankruptcytraining.com. So what we need to do now is to first change some of the internal settings. And let me show you this very quickly. Go to your settings. Go to general. And here instead of, see it says my blog? My blog. We're going to change this to whatever you want to have for your company. So nationwide bankruptcy training. And then I can put whatever I'm going to put in here. Uh, put stuff here later. Okay. Now, if we go down here and we save these changes, and we go back to the nationwidebankruptcytraining.com and refresh the page, immediately those changes have been made. Okay. So that is really the cool part of. WordPress. So now the next thing to do is to go down through these settings. I've got my email address in here. Set your time zone. Just go here to settings, hit general and go down through them. If you don't know what to change, then don't change it. Uh, it's better to leave a default. And then uh, you don't really have to change much on there and there's reading, but it's really under the general tab. Once you get that done, if you've got any of these little red circles with a number on it, it means there's an update. And so here when you update something, just read what it says. It's very simple. Upgrade automatically. And then uh, the system will take care of that for you. And so you can activate the plugin. Now, plugins are things that allow you to do other stuff. And so what the, fir the first thing you need to do, though, is to install a theme. Um, they call it a theme, really, template kind of thing. And this is the current theme. And if you want to add a new one, you just click there. And you can do a criteria search if you want. Or you can just say, you know, you want the color pink. I don't know. That's probably not going to be silver and find themes. And so it's going to bring these up. Now these are free, um, so don't worry about it. Just go through and have fun 
finding something that you inst you like. So let me try this one. Install. Let me show you how cool this is. And so I've installed it. And now I want to do a preview. And when I do a preview, it's going to show me what it's going to kind of look like. And I say, well, you know, I like that. Okay. So then I get out of this. And I activate that plugin or that that theme. Now, if I go back here and refresh, look, I have the theme. So that is how simple and easy it is to have a web page. The rest of this is all going to be you filling in content. And what I did when I first started learning how to do this was I went to the internet and I simply typed in I went to YouTube and I type in something like WordPress colon how to add plugin how to add a page whatever you want to ask it now for instance I typed in how to add a plugin and it will come up now the reason I went to YouTube is because these are videos and for me it's so much easier to learn by a video so you will go through these and eventually you're gonna find some of these people that um, that you're going to enjoy their instruction and see this particular person enlightened webmaster has a whole bunch of information of, of free videos on how to upload plugins and templates the best WordPress plugins this is where you get your free education but I just showed you how to design a web page in just a few seconds so really a few minutes less than 10 so have fun learn WordPress and I hope that it saves you money and time as much as it has me and don't forget to visit nationwidebankruptcytraining.com because by the time that you will probably get it this is going to look see this video it's going to look completely different so anyway I um, hope you have fun Bye.